it's your girl 4C Hair Chick here and today's video I'm going to be retwisting the finger comber unit. Here is what she looks like and some of you may remember I did another video where I showed you how I blend the front of the unit. When I first got this unit fresh out of the box it was just Amaze balls. Everything about it was awesome. Um, as the week went on, it started to kind of grow and get really voluminous. And so, um, I don't know, I just didn't like it as when it got super, super big like that. Um, so then I was thinking, oh my god, what can I do? And I made a video and I talked to you guys and I got some great suggestions. And one of my subbies that's on Facebook, she sent me a video of when she, well, not a video, a picture of her retwisting her unit. And it looked awesome. So she went ahead and took out the twist, retwisted it, and then she took, showed me a before and after, which I'll share with you guys. And I just loved the results, and I said, oh my gosh, that's what I need to do. Which I kind of already knew I had to retwist it because <laughs> it says treat it like your own hair, as one of my commenters pointed out. Um, you're totally 100% right. You've, you're supposed to treat it like your own hair, and that's what... The instructions said and I just have been lazy and not wanting to put all the effort in it I don't know I just really wanted something I could just rock and go so I'm over all of that and I'm gonna retwist this thing and put it to use because it sure was like $78 or something so <laughs> all right let me show you what's up Okay, so in this video, I really want to show you the whole retwisting process. So what I'm going to do is put the wig on so you can see a before view of what it looks like. These are the original twists that the hair came with. I haven't taken out these twists. As you can see, the twists are they are just poofy and they've grown to a point where it doesn't look very natural to me. So my whole goal is to make it look natural again. I know this is looking like a disaster right now, but keep the faith. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and take out all these twists. I decided it would be much easier to remove the twists if I wasn't wearing the wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the wig off and do it by hand. When I style it though and reinstall the twist, I'm going to wear it because I want it to really fit to my face. But yeah, just getting them out right now, it's much easier to sit down and take it out. I fully untwisted the finger comber unit, so now I'm just going to section my hair and cornrow it to lay it down flat. That way it doesn't look crazy underneath the wig. whack job of corn rolling because I just didn't feel like putting the time into it. So my whole goal is just get the hair to lay flat, which it will. So I did leave some bang out. I left this out so that I can blend. If you haven't seen the previous video I did on blending the finger comber unit, then I will put a link here for you to take a look. In that video I show you how I cornrow my hair. Um, as I said, I, I had an old style in, so I didn't feel like doing the cornrows I usually do, but this will work because the whole goal is to get, get your hair to lay flat, so that way you don't have any weird bumps underneath the wig. I wasn't able to find my stocking cap I typically use under wigs, so I'm just going to go ahead and tie down my hair instead and then put on the finger comber unit. Alright, so this is the finger comber unit untwisted. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. The hair looks really natural. This is probably what my fro would look like if it was this long. So, quite impressive, especially for a synthetic hair. Um, but that's also a whole lot of hair that I need to retwist. So, <laughs> we'll just see how this goes. Now 
Now that the hair is sectioned, I'm ready to start twisting. I have not put any product whatsoever in the finger comber unit, so it's, it's bare. So I'm just going to start by adding water, and then I'm going to come back through and add Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And that's it. That's all I'm using. No oil, nothing else, just water and Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I'm going to proceed to go through and two-strand twist all of this hair. All of this hair. <laughs> it's overwhelming how much there is, but yeah. You know what? My hair is thick, but it's not super thick. I know there's women who have super thick hair, and this is just normal in terms of how much hair you have to twist. So um, I applaud you. It's a lot of work, but your hair is beautiful. So I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to do this too often. So I finally finished the front section. It's taking me forever. It's actually taken an hour <laughs> to do this. There's a lot of hair. Um, however, I think it's cute and I almost don't know if I want to untwist it because these look like gorgeous twists. So, <laughs> um, I, yeah, we'll see what happens. finally done retwisting this unit. The whole reason I bought the finger comber was because I wanted something quick and easy. Something I didn't have to invest a lot of time in. And so I was pretty bummed when it started getting poofy on me and I realized, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to retwist this thing. Now that I've spent the three hours retwisting it, I love the way it looks. It looks so natural. And I'm just really happy with how it looks. Personally, I don't usually wear a lot of twist outs. I usually wear my hair in two strand twists, so I'd prefer to wear the unit like that because it's truer to my natural look. And this is this looks great. I'm so happy that I retwisted it. I'll have to wait and see what happens when it dries to see if it goes poofy again because it's kind of wet right now because I did use the water and the Shea Moisture. But if it dries and it stays this volume, this is the winner. So I'm so happy I retwisted it. Thank you everybody for watching. I gave the unit some time to dry and then in the morning I wore it. The residue from the Shea Moisture, the white stuff, had totally dried up and I just spritzed the whole unit with water and I was able to achieve this look. And so I went out with some other naturals in the area and the response was great. Everybody loved my hair and I kept getting questions about you know, how did you do that look? And I admitted it was a wig, and then the natural I was talking to would want to touch my head, and they're like, oh my god, let me feel it. I can't believe it. So it was just incredible how much of a difference retwisting made. So I'd highly recommend, if you want to make this wig work, go ahead and retwist it. I don't know if I'm going to do a twist out, but if I do, I will post a video. So what are your thoughts? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. It's your girl, 4C Hair Chick, and I am Outro. Catch you on the next video. Thank you